one of the ways that you can spruce up your Google site is by customizing some of the text and the themes that uh, you may have chosen for your site. So I have chose, uh, I believe it's called Solitude Navy, just a, a pretty basic theme um, that's blue. There's a few of those choices there. Uh, if you want to take it a step further, if you click on the Actions menu or the Settings button, whatever they call it, and go down to Manage Site, uh, you can change the name if you want to do that. Um, you can take that out. Um, if you don't want that there, that shows up in the header, uh, which we're going to talk again about in a little bit. You can add categories. What we're going to do, uh, just for design's sake, we're going to come down to themes, colors, and fonts. And so here is where you can uh, do a little bit uh, with um, different things um, to make it your own. You can see here's the theme that I chose. Uh, there's all the available themes. Um, I really just like the white background uh, more so than some of the others, but you know maybe you have a good reason for uh, why you would have the colored background. It really doesn't matter a whole much. So now you have these different areas that you can customize. Right now I have entire page selected and I'm working on the background of the entire page. So I could have no colored background. I could make it be green. I wanted to, um, and then that gives you a preview of just the first page. Uh, maybe I wanted it like a blue. Um, I'm going to take it back to the theme. Um, another thing that you could do is add an image as your background. Um, so if I click on the image button, I'm going to just grab a picture that I used for something else, and it's going to upload that, and then that becomes the background of my website. So if I scroll down, you can get an idea of of uh, what it looks like. It looks like I might have, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what that white line is. I've seen it a couple times. Um, kind of depends on how much, uh, I don't know that you can rearrange or move this picture around. Um, so you'll have to be cognizant of that depending on how much stuff you have on the front page. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make that, change that back to the regular one. The wrapper image, let me grab that picture again. And after it uploads, uh, you can see again, it uh, kind of does some of the same thing. I'm not sure what the differences between those two are. Um, and some places you'll have these options uh, where if I want it to repeat, I don't really want it to repeat. Um, I can, my picture is bigger than the page, um, so this positioning doesn't really matter. Um, I will, uh, we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Change that back to theme, um, text. Uh, you can uh, change the color of the text if you want. Um, I've changed my text um, site-wide um, and uh, left the colors so the same right there. The other thing you can change is the site header, which is this area here we talked about. Um, the LC and the instructional technology is there. Again, you could do a color if you wanted to. Um, and you can see the area that that is taken up. The other thing you can do is add an image. Um, this time, because it's a smaller area, I'm just going to grab this Google image. Uh, it's a screenshot that I took. And you can see here, um, it has uh, multiplied that Google thing there. Uh, so again, I'm going to go to Options. And here, because I have a smaller, or smaller picture and a smaller area I'm working with, this is where this is going to uh, make a difference. So I can have it repeat horizontally if I want to. Um, and if I wanted it to repeat across there, I could move it down, put it at the bottom of that area. Um, I could, let's see, let's have it not repeat. So I just have one. I could put it on the right side at the bottom if I want. So now it looks like it's just part of my, um, of my area. You know, I have a white background, the Google background's white. Um, so that's another way that you can kind of spruce up that um, information there. Again, I can change the color of the title. You can see I've kind of uh, settled on this lighter blue color there to kind of go with the school colors a little bit. Um, as I change it, notice it gives me that preview. So this instructional technology is changing right now. I could change the color or the, the size if I wanted to. Content area, again, this is um, some of your, uh, like your headers, those are the uh, pre-made um, uh, font packages, if you want to change any of that, um, you can set those uh, 
uh, whatever defaults here. Um, the gadgets, uh, which is the uh, just the uh, information that you put in, um, uh, put inside of your uh, text boxes. Sidebar, if I had a sidebar, it'd be along the left-hand side. There's another video um, on this page that has, or um, uh, on my YouTube channel, that has information on sidebar versus horizontal navigation. I have the horizontal navigation. Um, I can change the text and select the text and, and information here. Um, so all that stuff uh, can be um, changed um, and edited. Um, when you get done, click Save. Uh, one other thing that I'll point out before I click save is if you start pushing buttons, um, sometimes I just cancel out because it's not the way I want it. You can also clear all customizations, so whatever theme you start with, if you do clear all customizations, it's going to take it back to that. So if you kind of just get tired of it, uh, you can always do that if you don't want to uh, pick and choose certain things. So now when I click save and I go back uh, to my website, I click save and got to click instructional technology which I obviously normally forget uh, now I have that image there on the uh, right hand side so you can do that with any image uh, it's obviously depending on uh, the size of your page how much information you have here I don't have a huge page uh, but you kinda have to resize the pictures on your own uh, depending on uh, you know depends on your picture uh, if you have a certain spot that you want them to focus on or um, if it's uh, you know, skinnier uh, than longer, then it might be a little bit easier to put in the header. Uh, it just depends on where it is that you want it to be.